there, chums. I'm Darth my captors. I, Captain Stephen. Today, chums, for you guys in the view of us, I've got an ideas video based around Waypoint as an update. Was it named Waypoint for a reason? So we're going to get into that because a waypoint is sort of like a point inside of a, a journey, isn't it? You'd stop there for a while before you move on to your final destination. So is there a clue in the name of Waypoint? So from the main title screen, if we take a little gander at the old patch notes down in this bottom left corner here, it brings up what Waypoint contained. And what Waypoint contained is a way to show your stories in an easier sort of fashion and a better sort of layout, including more slots for upgrading. So it makes me wonder whether Waypoint is just a stopping point for now that might deliver in more story and more things that we can install into those tech slots going forwards. So that's kind of where I'm going to be aiming this video in what waypoint might be moving towards based on what we're seeing inside the game in what waypoint delivered and where there might be a few loose ends or where we've seen things moving in updates throughout the year it's like um, you know outlaws and also the sentinel update so the sentinel update brought in a few new things as too did outlaws but we'll cover those in this video i done a poll and the poll suggests that other people feel and 21 percent of the poll that waypoint might be moving towards another destination so it's setting us up for a bigger update and to have faith and i kind of agree with that i mean hello games are quite cautious in what they name things or at least it feels that way because it's tied to an emoji and stuff so inside of iteration for some time we've had these gnarly planets now there's quite a few of these planets that offer up some sort of trophy upon the planet and have got one roaming fauna that you can scan but more interestingly than all of that sort of shenanigans is the fact that it's got these things on. These are called boundary failures. So it kind of implies that there is a breakdown between one reality and another, a boundary that separates the two from colliding, hence why these planets look very different from the rest of the planets inside of the verse. But are they stopping some sort of infestation from coming into our system? And could we hit up these boundary failures? Well, I've got an idea for these things. Well, video for you and it's an ideas video yep yeah. in no man's sky currently we've got these exotic planets jumped now they have very limited flora and fauna on them and they seem very generic with not much reason to come venture here yeah normally they've only got one sort of fauna type which does make your sort of like milestone easier to get for finding all fauna on a planet. Yeah, because you only got to find one. You can upload it and get that trophy super quick. Here you go. I'm scanning one of these creatures now. And as you can see here, they're kind of a little boring in comparison to the rest of the planet. I mean, when you first land here and you get all that creepy music, you're like, oh, wow, I found something quite unique and quite special. But then you realize that it's, it's not really. I mean, you can come across these planets. I think there's about 13 different types of these exotic planets so yes you can get your milestone quicker and it's got a fauna that you've never seen before and it's quite alien looking and you pick up a trophy but that's about it there's not much else to do here get a trophy scan a fauna have a look around be slightly amazed but no other than that there's not much but what if they added bosses so on all of these exotic planets you can come here and hunt down different types of exotic bosses and maybe they could be variants of these bosses so it's not all copy and pasted and not all the same but also make it so the drops from these bosses are worthwhile in having so make sure that they're like i know modules for either your exocraft for your actual ship or for your uh, multi-tool that you just can't buy anywhere else so maybe the incinerator module for example so perhaps these boss encounters are triggered from picking up too many of the trophies on the planet or maybe even picking up too many gravitino balls storm crystals or digging too deep into a planet's surface could trigger a boss on other planets as well chumps and not just limited to exotic planets so i think this could encourage people to explore a bit more on these exotic planets or come here for a bit of a challenge you know, mind-blowing stuff and to get nice sort of loot maybe come here in a party what do you think chumps is this a good idea add your comments in the comments area Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye again. 
So perhaps there could be bosses near to these boundary failures like those in that video that you have to destroy and then it activates that failed boundary and going through there perhaps we can pick up some additional modules so maybe each of those bosses drops a custom um, module a bit like the incinerator we can't get the incinerator in game they got put in by accident so many years ago but maybe there might be a sentinel type that drops the incinerator in fact the sentinel minotaur that drops currently actually uses an incinerator to like a flamethrower as one of its secondary weapons so maybe killing that one will unlock you know the incinerator incinerator modules maybe killing one of these bosses might give you the ion cannon or a scatter blaster sentinel module or maybe killing some of the smaller sort of waves of sentinels like those spawners or the medical droids might spawn in some of these attachments for your exosuit you know so it's also like you know the quad dogs the quad dogs they, they fire laser beams so why not have it so they drop all the beam type weapons like the blaze javelin or the animus beam or the solar ray or even the mining beam but sentinel module types of those because at the moment all you get is bolt caster ones as enhancements to your actual um, multi-tool so yes those bosses could deliver in new tech as well and these salvaged glass sort of write-ups where it says about those purple glass those mysterious glass well why not link it to the realm of glass so as you go through one of these foul boundaries it takes you into a more sort of weird sort of dimension you know like the insides of the atlas stations now are all sort of wavy davy and stuff well it could just be these exotic planets but with that effect on it and more red with angular shards of glass everywhere and bits of purple glass sticking out too with angrier nastier sentinels in there like the corrupted sentinels that we get around salvage tech that you can pick up on salvage tech planets and maybe we've got sentinelized corrupt versions of each of the different sentinels so you know corrupted freaking sentinel dogs or walkers or the minotaurs and again they drop all these awesome modules that you just can't get inside of our verse so maybe you have to go through the boundary after killing a sentinel boss and maybe you only get given a certain amount of limited time inside of that realm of glass so you get maybe 16 minutes because that really plays into the 16 16 16 and the corruption that's going on so you're in there for 16 minutes shooting the heck out of corrupted sentinel kinds maybe have an in a corrupted sentinel boss but yeah that would be pretty cool that drops bigger sort of lovelier drops <sighs> yeah but now part of me is thinking that there's going to be parts of the community that say this is not a shooter if you turn it into a shooter i'm going to drop no man's sky like a ton of bricks i play it to sort of relax and stuff well i'm thinking this is sort of end game type stuff once you've gone through and you've played all the way through and it's optional you know if you, if you don't want to go and activate a foul boundary stay clear of the boss on the planet you know they're only going to be lingering by these freaking giant freaking wheel things ignore them go somewhere else <laughs> don't fight them so this is for the players that do want to do that jumping through the portal We'll grab all this extra tech and if you you know maybe the the loot chance goes up if you're inside of a fire team if you're playing with friends maybe the loot pool increases so it would be one of those things that drives sort of multiplayer interaction almost like a raid and maybe not every single one of these foul boundaries gives you 16 minutes to go and obliterate sent corrupted sentinels maybe sometimes it takes you to a puzzle type place where you have to solve a puzzle a little bit like those that are inside of that new game that hello games put out the same new game it was a few years ago now the last campfire they've got the ability to put in awesome puzzles if they wanted to where you might slide around some little puzzly bits just like in last campfire maybe you know there could be ways and means of them putting in things that aren't combat related inside of these boundary failures that make sense that still unlock some loot and some tech heck they, they can mix it up a bit a bit like a destiny raid where you've got slight puzzle elements alongside combat elements that you have to do in a fire team you know it could be quite cool to run this solo or in a group i think this is a lovely idea sound off in the comments let me know what you think do you think waypoint is leading to something else and do you think i'm on the right track or have you got other ideas goodbye goodbye and goodbye again well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.